Good evening and welcome to our weekly program, The Week in 30 Minutes. The English, the program that brings to you a number of varied and different reports prepared by our team in the English News Department. This show tries to highlight the main events recently taking place throughout Kuwait. Our active team of reporters are keeping themselves busy around the week to cover and report on many fields in the country, such as education, culture, sports, arts, business, in addition to the events that are currently taking place in Kuwait and may concern you. Like we recently used to do, our episode today is going to be divided into two parts. In the first one, we are going to host and interview Dr. Faisal Arifai, the, the Director of the Clinical Services at the Sman Diabetes Institute, to discuss and tackle the services that the Institute offers in addition to the latest in the treating the diabetes here in Kuwait. And in the second part of our episode tonight, we will show our reports as we used to do. Dr. Faisal, uh, the Director of the Medical Services at the Sman Diabetes Institute, welcome uh, in the show tonight. Thank you very much, Hiva. Thank it's you for having me. Thank you. It's, it's our pleasure. pleasure. Thank it's you. our pleasure. Our viewers, please stay tuned with us as after this link, we will be back with our guest tonight, Dr. Faisal Rafai. Stay tuned. Dr. Faisal Arifai, the Director of Clinical Services at the Sman Diabetes Institute. Thank you for joining us tonight in our show, in our new and different episode of our weekly program, The Week in 30 Minutes. Heba, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, our team recently uh, had the opportunity to cover one of the uh, events that are organized by the Sman Diabetes Institute, which is the, uh, the World Diabetes Day. I know this, this occasion is celebrated around the world, okay. but here in Kuwait, the Sman Diabetes Institute is one of the major uh, uh, entities that can uh, uh, cover and organize such an entity. Can you talk a little bit about this event? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we commit every year to celebrating World Diabetes Day, which is actually on the 14th of November. And the idea of our celebration is to unify all the efforts uh, in the face of diabetes uh, and particularly on the point of raising awareness yeah. about the illness, about its significance, uh, why, it, why it exists, how we can prevent it and methods of management as well. Yeah. So we always have the celebration at this month at the Institute itself. Uh, and we, uh, it's a public invitation, so it is open to everyone. Uh, and we usually have hundreds of people uh, attending this uh, event at the Institute where we offer uh, free consultations, whether it's screening for diabetes and a blood checkup, or whether it's nutritional advice, medical advice, various consultations. But in addition to that, it's really a family event. Yeah. We focus on having a lot of events for the kids so that we attract them to learn more about diabetes in a fun yeah. way. Not, not that's in the usual and traditional way. Yes, yeah, thank you. So uh, we try and focus on it being a, a really family day mm -hmm. that is fun to be at the at uh, during that day and at the institute and to showcase what we're able to do, how we're able to do it, and raise awareness about the illness uh, with everyone. Yeah, I'm sure that this event is very interesting because it's uh, as you said a uh, few seconds ago. It's for the family, yes. not only for people that are. Uh, um, like diagnosed with diagnosed, diabetes. Uh, absolutely. So, no. so, so that's a very important point, Hebe. So it's not only for people who have diabetes, yeah. it's for people who don't have diabetes, uh, families, yeah. uh, the general public, uh, just to have more information about diabetes. And we choose a specific day, not to signify that it's diabetes is important only one day in the year. Of, no, course, of not. course not. But that is the launch of our efforts for the next year. Yeah. And it's a celebration of these events coming together worldwide so yeah. everyone celebrates World Diabetes Day on that day. Yeah, of course. I think this takes us to the uh, next question which is which is what are the efforts exerted I mean here in Kuwait significantly uh, trying to manage this uh, yeah. this disease. Yeah, so there are multiple entities and institutions 
uh, and organizations that tackle the issue of diabetes. Uh, Ministry of Health, of course, is one of the big, if not the biggest player that's managing the uh, illness in people who are diabetic and trying to prevent it in those who are not. Uh, this is one area. Desman also contributes highly in this area, but also generally organizations that are concerned with health issues. Yeah. So even businesses and charity organizations and non-profits have turned towards focusing on diabetes as there is a high prevalence of diabetes within the population. And the numbers signify us to be in the top worldwide, yeah. unfortunately, ranking in terms of the spread of diabetes within the population. Yeah, right. Uh, what about the services that the, the SMAN Diabetes Institute itself offers, offers for people? Yes. Yeah. So our interest and, uh, and the premise for establishing this man is to focus really on the research component. So we try to focus on research that potentially could help in preventing diabetes or in managing the illness better. Yeah. But of course, in order to reach the levels of research that we'd like to reach, we need patients. And so we offer a multitude of services. We have over 25 specialties at the Institute offered clinical specialties, medical specialties for not only diabetes in its different types, so yeah. whether it's kids or adolescents or adults, whether it's type one or two, but also any illnesses that are related to diabetes, because as we know, diabetes can cause of complications course. and other illnesses, whether yeah. it's heart problems, kidney problems, eye problems, foot problems. So we cover all these specialties mm -hmm. within this month. That being said, we also focus on other areas of life where uh, uh, the focus needs to be there, such as nutrition, for example, yeah. patient education in a general sense. Uh, for example, uh, we do screening uh, in general so that we try to tackle diabetes before it actually happens. So we try to offer all these services and bundle them under, re under really one roof. And that's the, one of the important aspects of this month where you come to one place to receive a multitude of services. Yeah. Thank you for this information. Now we will go to a very quick link and we will be back to our discussion okay. again. Dear viewers, stay tuned with us. Welcome back. Dr. Faisal Rafai, uh, our team had the opportunity to go and cover this event that was organized by the Sman Diabetes Institute. We will have a look right now about it. The Sman Diabetes Institute, or DDI, a leading campaigner for diabetes awareness in Kuwait, held an informative event to commemorate the World Diabetes Day. The event allowed visitors to consult with diabetes specialists and dietitians, as well as gather healthy information from booths that explained various facts of diabetes and promoted healthy lifestyle modification. Here is more in this event, in this report by Salim al -Kandari. Around 1,000 guests attended Desman Diabetes Institute's World Diabetes Day campaign, underlying the interest in Kuwait to prevent and manage this dangerous lifestyle disease. Many of the booths at the event were about educating visitors on proper dietary habits, 
acknowledgeable physical activities and oral health. At this event, there were informative booths by the Kuwait Diabetes Society, Kuwait Pharmacists Society, oral health program of the Ministry of Health, and others that provided assistance to people living with diabetes. We support and we follow the mission of uh, Dasman in, in uh, taking care of the population in Kuwait to make sure that we try to prevent diabetes from happening. And for people with diabetes, we would like to help them uh, avoid diabetes complications. So um, as part of prevention, it's extremely important for everybody to um, uh, exercise on daily basis. Um, any type of exercise or physical activity that is um, good for you, anything that can help you raise your um, heart rate to the point where you're actually um, uh, you know, working hard and breaking a sweat, that will help you burn the fat, that will help you lose weight and, and uh, help you protect yourself from uh, the chronic diseases. What we basically do is we organize events, try to raise awareness and get people involved in this decade's major issues. And in this event right here in Desmond Diabetic Society Institute, we, are, we really appreciate their invite. It's been really amazing. You have different booths from different hospitals and different clinics. You have uh, different uh, tests being conducted and it's been a really amazing experience. The primary goal of the campaign was to prevent the complications of diabetes in people with diabetes through raising awareness about the complications and empowering those affected by diabetes to provocatively take control of their diabetes and improve their quality of life. The main key messages were to take control of blood sugar, watch your cholesterol, keep blood pressure in check, and don't forget your kidneys, and look out for your eyes and examine your feet. From DDI, this is San Kendiri, reporting for the week in 30 minutes. Dr. Faisal, welcome again uh, to our uh, tonight's episode of The Week in 30 Minutes. Thank you. After viewing this report, this makes me want to ask you something. What about the recent, as you told me uh, before, that uh, one of the major events or uh, services that uh, the Institute offers is the research yes. arena. Yes. So what, what about the developments, the most recent developments in managing diabetes, I mean internationally? In, in a general sense, yeah. yes. So uh, w at this man, we try and actually adopt these new technologies and ways of management as soon as they're actually available yeah. and safe. Uh, to, to, to actually use with patients. In addition to actually having others where it's more in the uh, uh, exploration phase. Yeah. But uh, right now, for type 2 diabetics, uh, we're able to use a once a week injection for some, not all, mm -hmm. some, it's quite suitable to use, that replaces the conventional uh, methods of yeah. uh, treatment currently. So as you know, some, uh, a lot of diabetics require uh, in insulin or uh, injectable medicines on a daily basis. Yeah. And so finding something that can be used once a week, and now there's potential for a once every two weeks, so twice mm -hmm. monthly uh, medicine, are really breakthroughs that we're seeing worldwide and that we're trying to adopt at this month yeah. uh, as soon as possible. So we're actually in the trial period right now, trying an injection that is once a week which is something which is quite interesting. Of course, yeah. of course. I, I know people that trying to take an injection like before every meal or exactly. at least once daily. Exactly. Uh, yeah. so, so in that sense, some of them, and probably the ones that you're referring to that require more than one injection a day, yeah. are usually insulin. They, they use insulin. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this medicine isn't insulin based, but for those that require insulin, which are mostly type 1 or type 2 when they require the insulin, the, the latest that is on offer is using an insulin pump instead of the uh, uh, daily injectables. Okay. So this pump is basically 
giving the body insulin regularly throughout the day and then when you're eating you actually just program how much extra insulin you need, you need for that meal but it's an injection that is embedded under the skin and stays there for three to four days wow. minimum and then you change it every four days instead of pricking yourself on a yeah, regular basis yeah. so we've got the biggest uh, group of insulin pump patients in Kuwait and potentially in the Middle East we have over 350 patients currently on pump being managed at the Institute between adults and kids and uh, we think that this is an excellent replacement of regular injections for those that are able to uh, go through the education process yeah. and use the pump appropriately yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. This is really interesting. And I think it's uh, good news for people who absolutely, are Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Dr. Faisal Fad, do you want to add anything at the end of our interview tonight to, to our audience? Yeah, so we always stress on the importance of screening. And the reason is because uh, recently, actually, the International Diabetes Federation uh, told us that the rates in Kuwait have slightly gone down which is a very positive thing. So the year before we were about 23% prevalence in the adult population, yeah. which means roughly one in four people have diabetes. This year, the, uh, the numbers show that we're down about 3% to 20%. So one in five are really diabetic in Kuwait, but that figure is quite high. So what we want to stress is the importance of screening. So whether you have diabetes or, or not, and maybe particularly if, you're, if you don't have diabetes, we stress on checking yourself once or twice a year just to make sure that you don't have pre-diabetes, what's before diabetes, and that you don't have diabetes and you're not aware of it. Yeah. Because we know that 50% of people who have diabetes actually don't know. Yeah, so right. screening is an important part of prevention. Very important one, yeah. Dr. Faisal Rafai, the Director of the Medical Services at the Sman Diabetes Institute, thank you so much for being with us here today and giving our audience this valuable uh, information. Heba, thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you.